Hello and welcome back to the stars everybody. Today we're going to be talking about Starfield and today we're going to be talking about everybody's favorite weapon, the Cutter. This is the very first weapon that you get introduced to in Starfield or weapon. It's technically a tool that has been repurposed into a weapon, sort of. The Cutter is supposed to be a tool that's used for harvesting raw resources, harvesting iron, harvesting nickel. The Cutter is a heavy energy weapon that deals damage with its laser at fairly short range. For the base stats of the Cutter, this does four damage in total and there is no other version of the Cutter. Sort of. We'll talk about that in a second. But there is no actual upgrade system for the cutter. It doesn't become like a refined or an advanced cutter or anything like that. It is always just the cutter. So that is the base standard that it is always at. So you're not going to be increasing the damage all with getting new cutter parts. However, you can with certain perks and we'll talk about that in a little bit. The cutter has infinite ammo, which is good. It has technically 100 charge and then this charge refills itself. So you can still run out of charge and have to wait for it to fill back up. But for all intents and purposes, the cutter actually has infinite ammo, which is pretty interesting. This one has also a pretty high rate of fire because this deals damage and deals tick damage with every hit from this. And this has very short range. This only has three meters of effective range, which is kind of to be expected. You're not going to be sniping with this. You do have to get up close and personal with this weapon in order to actually deal damage with it. It has accuracy on it, weirdly enough, although it's just the laser. You hold the laser on something. It's not like the laser can just fly off in any direction. So I don't know why it has an accuracy mod. Maybe just because it has to have some level of accuracy. And it does weigh a decent amount coming in at four weight. So it's not super convenient to carry around multiple cutters with you. Cutters also aren't worth the most amount of money. So you probably don't want to be just hoarding them for potential cash. I did this in the early game in my first playthrough and found out that it was basically worthless to do that you are better off hoarding any other weapon in the game other than the cutter because it just weighs too much handguns are super common and you can just get more money out of them and same thing goes with submachine guns like the grendel or the kraken or something for the pros of the cutter it does have infinite ammo that is a huge pro especially at the very start where ammo can be a potential issue it actually does have pretty good damage per second in the early game and can in the later game if you have the laser perk the laser perk helps this one out a ton. You could potentially get more damage out of this with the heavy weapons perk too, but it honestly doesn't give you that much, so that one's kind of neglectable. Lasers are where it's at for this weapon. Or for the first couple ranks of lasers, this just gets you a straight damage upgrade and it's just not enough to affect the cutter whatsoever. So you might end up getting slightly more DPS out that way. But once you hit the final rank of the lasers, that's where things get really good because then your lasers can set things on fire. It has a 5% chance to trigger, but since this one hits so often and ticks so often, the fire triggers really, really often and the fire does percent health damage. So for certain enemies, especially alien type enemies, you can actually melt through them super quick. This kills Terramorphs surprisingly fast. It's one of the best weapons for actually killing them. However, even though it does melt through these big enemies really fast, it doesn't do very well against humanoid enemies. Humanoid enemies get damage resist towards basically everything as you level up and as they level up. So higher leveled enemies, even though they might have a lot of health, they're still going to have a lot of damage resist to them and they're just not going to be taking that much damage from the cutter. So you are going to struggle against those type of enemies, making the cutter still kind of niche in what it can and can't kill quickly or effectively compared to other weapons. For the cons of the cutter, it does have limited range. You are going to have to get up close and personal against everything with this, which makes it so long ranged enemies can be potentially an issue for you multiple ranged enemies can be an issue for you and if you haven't built up to be kind of a tanky character you can just end up sitting there trading with enemies and they'll out trade you sometimes other cons are that this has low damage and low damage per second without the aid of perks with perks like the laser perk that isn't such an issue but before that it's going to be a little bit slow killing things not too bad though because it still does enough damage to kill any of the early game enemies and if you just spec all into lasers you should get that unlocked fairly fast. You're also going to want to go with health perks like wellness so that you just have extra health to actually face tank through enemies because you're going to be up close and fighting them. Not quite as close as melee range but pretty close to where melee enemies can still cause issues to you. And then the other con is the recharge rate where you can't up the recharge rate at all with this. There's no modifications for this weapon whatsoever. You're just stuck with the standard cutter unless you want to change its skin, which you can. It changes it from the red cutter to the old Mars cutter, at least if you have that skin unlocked. You can also get the unique version of this, which is called Heller's cutter. Heller's cutter is slightly better overall. You do get it during one of the main quests, so it's pretty easy to grab. And it's kind of a nice bonus. It's 
kind of nice that you can just take that weapon too. I wish there was more unique versions of the cutter overall since there's only that one and it doesn't even really change anything. You also can't get any sort of legendary effects on your cutter. At least I don't think you can. Maybe you can spawn one in that has that using console commands. By default, I've never seen a cutter with effects on it, making it kind of okay. And overall, at least with perks and everything, I would actually put the cutter into B tier. It's a decent weapon against certain enemies in certain circumstances. If you're using the cutter just for that, it's probably B tier. If you're using it for everything and comparing it to all weapons, I would probably actually rate this a little bit lower. It'd probably be C or D tier. I, I think C tier, I don't think it would go quite down to D tier because having infinite ammo all the time, it's also solid enough in the early game just for that reason. And again, with the laser perks, it's always going to be useful against something. So I don't think I would drop it any lower than like C tier overall. But under ideal circumstances, I would say the cutter is probably a solid B tier. Uh, so should you use the cutter? Yeah, probably. Uh, you're probably going to use it at the very start of the game, if nothing else. After that, it's totally your choice if you want to use it, where it can be pretty useful just to carry around because maybe you will harvest a couple rocks, maybe you'll find some titanium or some nickel or whatever the heck you need for upgrades. Uh, having infinite ammo in the early game is really, really useful. That's going to be great on any build that's not using melee or unarmed, which already have effectively infinite ammo. What do you guys think of the cutter? Where would you place it in the tier list? What do you enjoy about it? And what do you not enjoy about it? Thank you guys so very much for watching this one. This one was a bit of a different one because there's not tons to talk about with the cutter. But it is an interesting enough weapon, and it is an early game weapon that's pretty cool. My only complaint is you can't modify it, because I would love to modify some of the tools like this to make them into like dead space type weapons. I think that would be really, really awesome. Maybe we'll get that with mods or expansions or something. Anyway, you guys take care, have a great rest of your day, and I will talk to you next time. Bye-bye!